Hello everyone, my name is Yahya and in this video I'll be showing you how to make your own deepfake videos. I'll show you how easy it is to do it so that everyone nowadays can do it. It's really simple. So uh, before I start, I would like to uh, give like um, like credits to these guys because these guys, they are the actual uh, developers behind this. I did not develop any of this and they actually um, uploaded a code for them. So that is like a demonstration code. Anyone can use it. But I, what I will do today, I will guide you through it. I'll show you how to use it. And then, uh, not just using their pictures and their videos. I'll show you how to make, put your own pictures and your own videos. So let's uh, let's get started. So you have these three things to open. And all of them are um, are basically here. I will include all these links in the description below. All right? So uh, the first thing is... This, this thing, which is their paper and their GitHub codes and everything. But I'm not going to go through that because in order to use their GitHub code, you need to have a really good uh, computer with uh, graphic cards and a really good processing. So I'm not going to go with this technique. But feel free to click and, and read their paper to understand their technique. Anyways, what uh, what do we do? Basically, when you open up... Uh, okay, okay, let me just close that. Uh, first of all, you need to get the pictures and the images. So this is basically... Uh, their Google Drive. All right. So uh, this is the uh, Google Drive. But this is this is shared by this guy, right? Owned by this guy. So first of all, you need to download this uh, this folder, right? So to download it, you click on this little arrow and you go ahead and click on download. Once you do that, it will be downloaded to your computer. And in my case, uh, it is downloaded. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, it is downloaded in my case in in the C drive, which is this one. Once you download that, you need to uncompress it. So you just go ahead and right click and, and extract it, or you open it, extract it, and then once you extract it and you unzip it, you have this this folder with with all the pictures. What you need to do is that you need to copy or you need to upload these pictures to your Google to your Google Drive. So what you need to do is you need to open up your Google Drive. Okay. Um, if you don't have it open by now, you just need to sign in with your with your Gmail, basically with your Gmail, right? And then you go ahead and create a folder. So you, you click on new and you click on new folder. And then in this new folder, you have to rename it with the same exact name. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. So uh, you just go ahead and, and and basically copy the name, exact name, and paste it here. And then you click on create. I actually did that already, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so this is my folder, which is created folder. What you need to do is that you need to double click it, open it, and select all the pictures and images or select the ones that you're going to use, basically. And then you drag and you drop it. So when you do that, you upload all of this stuff, right? So that's exactly what you need to do. But of course, it takes some time. So I, I did that before I shoot at this video, right? So once you're done, all the, all the videos are here. Now what? Now what you need to do is that you need to open up uh, their uh, collab notebook. So what is a collab uh, notebook? This is basically um, like something that Google provide you, provides you with, which is instead of having a really good computer and running all the codes on it, you can run your code online on cloud. So this is like a like a, a computer, which is a, a really strong computer. It's like a, the, it's like an online engine basically with graphic card. Uh, and this is for free. Let's, everything is here is for free. Everyone can use it. All you need is just logging in with your uh, Gmail account. That's it. So you just go ahead and open up this link. And once you open up this link, uh, you have this, this kind of document, right? Now, um, I'm not going to go ahead and use it because I'm going to do some editing. So what I'll do, I will just save a copy to my Google Drive, right? This is like just uh, a good thing to do. So uh, file, save a copy in a Google Drive. And once you do this, it will uh, automatically reopen a tab or it will tell you to, shall I open in a tab? So you click yes. And then we close this original one because I don't want to mess with his code. I want to mess with my code, right? So, all right. Um, what do we do here? Let me just rename this to uh, copy two because I think I've done that maybe like multiple times, just a testing. Now, the first thing you do is you need to connect to this uh, Google engine, right? So to do that, you click on connect. Once you click on connect, you have to confirm that you're connecting to a graphic card, uh, not to a CPU. You need to be connected to a, a GPU, not a CPU, because it makes a big difference when 
uh, compiling the code and running uh, because usually machine learning um, like codes run faster on uh, graphic cards so to confirm this it's already connected which is perfect it shows you the ram and the disk I, i'm not going to explain that this is like from collab part what you need to do is you need to double check that you connect it to the right uh, tool right so you click on runtime and change runtime type once you do that you make sure this is a gpu it's not a tcp it's not a tpu or a none make sure it's a gpu again how do i do this runtime change runtime type and make sure this is a gpu and click save right now what you need to click on basically you have like a snippet basically like a full page of, of like multiple lines you need to run it one by one but i will run it and i will explain what each one does the first one i'll just go ahead and click that this is just cloning uh, the folder, which is first order model. This is not the pictures or the videos. This is copying their code from their um, like uh, from their website or whatever from their GitHub directory in this case to your uh, folder. So how do I confirm this? Usually, if this is hidden, you can click it here, or you can click in this files. So if you click the files, you will have sample data. This is just uh, like some extra stuff that we don't use. We're not going to use today. But this is basically what we just copied. It has all the Python uh, codes, which is running behind the scene, right? So in this case, it's like you copy the folder in your computer with all the codes and all the like uh, the algorithm behind it. So you just copied it to this online computer, right? So that's exactly what we just did. And then the first thing we do is we change directory because at the moment this computer it's like kind of like like Linux kind of so it's actually maybe I think it's it's Linux so um, it's assuming that all the folders are here in the like maybe in desktop maybe or something or in the main directory but it, actually it is in in this folder uh, or uh, uh, first order uh, model which is this folder right here right so you need to change the directory to access the codes to do that you just simply click on run here which is change directory um, to the first order. And that's it. Instead of being content only, you have content and first order model. This is just to access the code that we obtained. After that, this is very important. This is mounting your Google Drive. Remember the Google Drive that you uploaded all the pictures and um, the videos? You need to mount it, which is mounting the data, getting the data here, right? To do that, you just go ahead and click run. Now, this step could be tricky. Uh, because it, it's telling you to enter your authorization. This is not your password for the Google Drive. Instead, you need to click on this link. So once you click on this link, it will tell you um, which uh, which Google account you want to use. So I'll be using this Gmail account, and then it will tell you: Do you want permission to uh, to like uh, give Google Drive stream? Yes, we want to, uh, we want to give this um, like like access. We want to guarantee this access you click allow and then you get this this is the password that you need so you right click copy or you just click on this uh, copy button once you do this you go ahead and paste it right here and hit enter click enter hit enter and once this is done uh, obviously it takes some time because now it's taking all the pictures and all the videos from google drive to right here so let me just refresh this hopefully you can see that uh yeah g drive and the G drive, my drive, and then um, you have basically, this is like all my drive stuff. This is all the stuff that I have in my Google Drive, including this folder, which has all the videos, all the pictures and so on. So this is very important, okay? Now let me just close this. Now uh, we need to add, uh, yeah, we're done with this part, right? Now this piece of code here, what it does, basically this technique, how does it work? You provide a static image, like one image of a person that you want to animate, maybe a picture of your friend, and then a driving video. A driving video, basically, this is uh, like someone who is talking, and then you want this picture to talk like this video. So, if, if for example, here, as I showed you, in, in this case, on this left, sorry for that, on the left, on the left hand side, this is a static, uh, like. I don't know static picture right but um, this picture now is moving how is it moving I am feeding this um, source image with a driving video which is me talking and then the, the algorithm animates this picture so that you get this kind of nice animation right um, the theory behind this and all the algorithm behind this in the paper I'm not gonna go through it again this is a really basic video so 
uh, you just go ahead and, uh, and, and and run it. At the moment, they're using 02 as a picture and, and 04 as a, as a video. Just go ahead and click run. We'll just run it and then I'll show you how to edit it later on. Okay, so you click on on, uh, on run. Just take some time. Uh, actually, let's figure out which one is 02 and which one is 05, right? 02 and 04. So 02 is this guy. I don't want to mention here. I don't want to mention his name. And 04 is this guy. So we want to uh, animate um, this guy in a similar way as this guy. <laughs> I'm not going to mention other names, right? Okay. So um, this step is quite simple. Uh, what it does, it loads the machine learning model. So the good thing here, you don't need to train your model because they already did the training for you. So you just need to load this train model and then make prediction. So, or make the like generation part at least. Okay. So you click here, which is loading their model. And obviously if you don't like the, um, the accuracy of this, later on you can train your own uh, model and um, use your own pictures and your own videos for for that, but then you need a really good computer to do this, right? Not anyone can do this. Okay, so this is just loading the the, the machine learning model. The machine learning model is, I think, uh, you have like two machine learning models which is saved in a tar file. So like they have like two techniques basically. Okay. All right. I need to close this part. So now this this is done. You're done uh, loading the model. So this is performing the image animation. Uh, you're feeding it with the source image, which is the this picture, basically. And you're feeding it with a driving video, which is this video, right? And that's it. You don't touch anything else. You just click uh, this play button, and it will do the conversion for you. Obviously, it takes some time to do this. And keep in mind that there's no, there's no audio here. You are just animating a picture. Uh, to, I mean, we're just moving the, the lips and, and the eyes and the, the facial emotions uh, or the movements. But the, the video is not there. So, uh, or the, the audio is not there. So you need to maybe use some other um, audio like, uh, or video editing to add the video, uh, to add the video to the audio or audio to the video, right? This is just a simple thing. You can use maybe Movie Maker to do this or any simple application even some people can do do it on the phones right yeah nowadays so uh just give it a second it is just doing the animation and here you go you have uh this guy saying the stuff that this guy is saying right which is quite cool right um i'll just go ahead and show you the other technique the other technique what it does it for example here you have like a hair this guy doesn't have a hair for some reason i don't know so uh the second technique it adds up the hair from here to here or at least the hairstyle as they say now you don't have to do this but i'll just show it to you quickly and to be honest this technique is more than enough for anyone right um by the way so far i'm using their pictures their videos uh, i'll just give you one more example of the pictures and videos and then i will go to your videos and your pictures okay so uh and, and this is part this is right here which is running your data section uh, this could be really tricky to some people so um i will show you how to use that it's quite um it's quite interesting to use it okay in their case okay uh, i think it's done okay but meanwhile in their case they're using a video which is 07 mkv which is a, a video uploaded. Anyways, now you can see uh, the difference between this and this. Um, so basically, I don't like the second technique that much, so I'll be using the first technique, okay? Uh, what you can do is the following. You can change the picture and you can change the video. Now, you cannot just put any video here because this video has to have some properties. For example, these videos, they're like square shape and they should have like some heights and width so not any video will work you will give you will get like tons of different errors so um you can use their own videos for the animation so uh, what you can do is in this in this video and on this folder you have tons of different um stuff to use for example this is 10 uh, which is like leonardo dicabrio um, saying something so you can change that to 10 so you're using 10 as a video and which one do you want to move maybe you want to move the Mona Lisa right so this would be uh, 0 5 here right so just click on play 
and it will take the Mona Lisa and um, hopefully animate it like um, and allowing it to say as Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course, there is no voice to Mona Lisa, so you need some voice to be added later on, right? Now, uh, let me just open up my Google Collab because I want to check something quickly while this is running. Um, yeah, this one. Okay, is it done yet? Still uh, processing. Okay, the main reason I'm going here because this is basically the stuff I was trying before I shoot this video. So, yeah. Yeah, this, that's exactly what I wanted to get because, um, like, this is after trying an error, I managed to get this. Okay, so it's still not animated. This is just a step of showing which picture you're going to animate and which video you w will be the driving video. This is the um, loading the model. We've done that already. This is the animation part. So let me just go ahead and, and copy this because I need it. Um, copy. And that's it. I don't need anything from here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is doing the, the the actual the actual animation of the picture. So uh, let's wait for this, and uh, let's see how. I'll just pause it. All right, so we've reached the hundred percent. Maybe like maybe a second or two for it to show us the, the actual result. I think from now on I should do this. I should pause and and, and like continue. So uh, hopefully we can see it now. No, still. Okay, where is it? Come on, show up. Okay, let me just paste whatever I, I got here. Okay, still. Come on. Of course it takes some time. It's not a simple thing. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now we, as you can see, we have the Mona Lisa. Uh, doing all the movements and the head rotation as Leonardo DiCaprio, as long as well as their, their like lip, lips movement and eye movements and everything, which is really really nice. Okay, now uh, enough of uh, the like pre-existing examples. Let me show you how to make your own uh, your own like animation. So in my case, let me just show you which video I'm going to use for the driving video. This video, um, okay, let me just close this. I'll be using this video, right? So this video is uh, like I recorded a really long time ago. I'll just show it to you. How does it look like? Which is this one right here. Okay, it's a really long video, obviously, and it has many things. Okay, and uh, obviously uh, what I need to do is that I need to crop part of the video and not just cropping part of the video, cropping which face of the video that I want to include. This is very important. And this was the tricky part about this, this thing. How do I do this? First of all, you need to upload this video to your Google Drive. So that's the first thing you do, which is not difficult at all. You just go ahead to your Google Drive. Is this my Google Drive? Um, I think it is my Google Drive, yeah? Yes, it is my Google Drive. And then you simply drag and drop the video right here. So you simply drag and drop this guy or the video that you want to use as a driving video. You drag and drop it here. Once you do this, I have it already. I think I already have it here, which is Yahya Nuruddin. That's me. And then you need to use that. So to use that, this is the tricky part. Okay, let me close that. And right here, let's go here. So. To use this, we go to the section which is running your data. Now, the first part, they're using a video called 07MKV. This is not my video, right? My video is um, is this one. So I need to give it this name, right? So that's the first thing I need to do. And then, so let me just change that. Uh, obviously, I should keep up this forward slash. Okay. And then you need to specify um, like the like which time you want to include right so the time that i used for this was uh what is the time uh 54 and uh, uh point 90 and I'm, I'm just gonna crop like five seconds or six seconds right so that's exactly what i did here so let me show you how to do so basically let me just go ahead and write this um so this is 54 54 and this is like 90 
and it's basically the video is just um, is too short it's not like eight minutes or something so this is zero so this is like less than a minute okay and then I want to crop not eight seconds I want to crop five seconds okay now this thing is important very very important uh, because it tells you what is the dimensionality of the video that you want to crop and uh, which part of the video that you want to zoom in to like crop and focus on uh, for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is it will give you an error but to explain the the, the, the thing so then you change this hint on to uh, some, something else why 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 or something and then you click on this play button obviously it will give you an error the error is that this 600 by 600 is too big and in fact the video that I am uh, wait uh, of course I need to give it the extension which is dot mp4 right uh, yeah the other error which is the six by 600 by 600 is too big but this error tells you in, invalid is too big and this is based on the video dimensionality so if you right click on the video you will see that this video yes it's 600 here but this is like 350 52 which is actually small so you cannot just use 600 by 600 you need to make it smaller than that right um, so to fix this you can go with maybe like 300 300 or 200 200 it's up to you but actually it's it's trial and error for now I'll just go ahead and show you uh, 300 uh, by 300 okay 300 by 300 I'll leave these exactly as they are at the moment okay this will work but not quite good so uh, let me show you what this okay remove the existing yeah yes click uh, type yes and then hit enter and then uh, it will take some time to do this so it did the cropping part which is good and then you um, you need to change now which picture you want to animate and which video obviously the video is uh, saved as triple y dot, dot mp4 right so triple y is not hinton it's triple y mp4 and this 09 what is this 09 i wonder this 09 is this guy right okay it's fine let's keep it okay for now if you click uh, this play button this is doing the actual conversion i'll just go ahead and, and pause because this will take some time so um, as you can see now this is done but the animation is really messed up because it, first of all it, it generated 300 by 300 but it's focusing maybe on this guy which is really far and very difficult and i actually don't want it i don't want it to focus on this so how do i fix this to fix this you need to change the cropping uh, like zone so if you want to keep it 300 300 but change this thing now you have two numbers one of them is i think related to the uh, like horizontal movement one of them is related to the uh, vertical movement so what you can do is you can try maybe zero uh, zero right as a start see where is your zero zero point where is your zero zero zone okay is it top left uh, corner is it bottom uh, right what is it so just go ahead and click yes or type y and then hit enter and um, hopefully it's converted successfully or actually the cropping is done successfully so you go ahead and click this again uh, which is doing the conversion again right again I'm gonna pause here because it takes some time to do this all right so I think this video is done but I th which is good so you know that the zero zero is is actually good which is like uh, where is the starting point of, of the of the window that you want to um, like crop so for example if this is the if this is your window and this is your zero zero so you want to crop a window starting from this 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 corner right which is top left corner right usually but obviously still the the picture is quite far uh, so that's why the conversion is trying its best but it, it can't do it properly so what you can do is you can have a smaller window instead of 300 by 300 you can have it 200 by 200 you can have it 100 by 100 so um, the optimum solution that I managed to obtain I actually tried different uh, different uh, combination here the optimum was a 150 by 150 so I'll just go ahead and change this to 150 and 150 this is my case um, it, in your case maybe it's 200 by 200 maybe the 300 by 300 is good enough okay so maybe okay uh, so that's it you, you click on on play I note that it didn't change this at the moment so we might need to change that later on right uh, once you click here again don't forget to type in the Y and hit enter so it overwrites the previous uh, the previous one then you click here which is generate again again I'm gonna pause this because it takes time takes time 
all right the conversion is done but obviously uh, we zoomed in too much but the starting point is, is really far so it's like the uh, if, if you can see this tablet it's like we are uh, like, like right here yeah we are just cropping this this part but my face maybe is right here right so what you need to do is you need to move this window uh, horizontally and vertical okay so which one is responsible for horizontally which one is responsible for vertically you have like two numbers here uh, next to the 150 by 150 so you have this number and this number so let's let's just move this the first one let me just increase it so maybe to uh, like uh, I don't know like a hundred and let's see what this will do okay so click here and then uh, we want to override this you click type in yes and hit enter and then you uh, click on this thing again to generate the video again again I'm gonna pause now okay let me just go here and pause all right so this is the result video and you can see that the um, horizontal movement is good uh, but it's still, I think you still need to increase it a little bit more right and you need to go lower uh, so let's actually do this and uh, let me just uh, I'll leave this hundred exactly as this I'll, I'll change this to see is it going up or down or like right and left just to double check so let me make it 50 and uh, just remember this was the result my mouth is still not there okay and uh, yeah let's just run this again and override this y y y triple y part type in yeah type y and hit enter and then uh, you click on this this thing right here to use the new uh, triple y then again I'm gonna I'm going to pause here all right so you've seen that the 50 shifted the video a little bit down so it includes my mouth movement but still I need to move it a little bit like like horizontal shift okay so this could be easily done and uh, I'm not I'm just gonna stop doing uh, all of this like try and error I'm going to use this this kind of numbers this is like after try and error I managed to get this so shifting 100 is not enough so I had to shift it like uh, 150 and uh, this 50 horizontal was uh, this, this 50 vertical is more than enough okay so I'm just gonna do this quickly and uh, I'll just stop the video because it's just taking too long uh, for shooting this video okay and click here I'm just gonna pause it all right so the conversion is done and as you can see now the movement is really nice okay which is really really good and yeah that's it uh, how do I save this you can I think click here and download it and that's it you download it to your computer and then later on use another another like a video editor to add the same stuff that you just said right um, yeah uh, so yeah th that's it that's it about this this video uh, what else do I need to mention obviously I was using the online tool to crop um, the video and which zone of the video to uh, like zoom in and use it as a drawing video you can use any other software like any vi any video editing tool to do this but since it's already there on uh, on the computer on, on this like uh, online service I, I decided to use it okay some people may think this is tedious but if you have a ready-made video please use it right but yeah in my case I didn't have a really uh, nice video like in, in good dimensionality so that's why I had to do it this way okay so yeah th that's it about this video if you like this video please uh, put the thumbs up um, if you have any questions write in the in the in the comment section below all the links will be available in the description uh, the description part be below the video and if you want more videos like this in the future please write down in the comments I would love uh, your support Thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry for taking so long and bye.